Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Empyreon Galactic Survival, shall we? Heathron, good evening my friend, good to see you. This game was recommended to me by a good friend of the channel, Alex, and he was kind enough to uh, donate it to the channel and I'm really excited to boot it up. I actually have been playing some Space Engineers, and it looked like from the screenshots that there might be some similarities, but um, I, I really don't know. Never played this game before, so I'm going to fire it up. And I think because from what I read just poking around on the Steam page, looks like it is actually a pretty complicated game. So I'm going to try the tutorial just to see if it'll help me out. And we're going to do the tutorial scenario, I suppose. I'm going to try using mouse and keyboard with this game. They do have controller support, which seems interesting. And if it feels like that kind of a game for me where I want to try it with a controller, I might very well do it. But we're going to go and just fire it up and see what it's like. Mage, good evening. Good to see you. That's kind of what I understand mage but it looks um more ah, I don't know how to say it more like Minecraft with the inventory from the screenshots that I saw but I I really have no idea okay um looks like I am oh okay I'm inside a room and I'm looking out the window okay that was a trick like I'm just looking out into space all right, cool. And we've got a nice, awesome poster. And uh, I can press F to sleep in this bed if I want to. The captain says, you're finally awake. I am finally awake. Heal up and eat. I'll be waiting on the bridge. Hey, Dower Beast. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. So if I look at this, in the bottom left, I've got health. I've got satiety. It looks like I have stamina and maybe that's oxygen at the bottom, which I don't think I need to... I think because the O2 light is lit up, I'm being provided oxygen on the ship. I mean, God, I would hope so. And yeah, that's what it feels like, Heathrun. I'm excited to dive in. Okay, so nice wood paneling up here to give this, uh, you know... A homey feel and I'm gonna access the kitchen counter it looks like there's some root beer some coolant and some spoiled food disgusting all right so I'm gonna go ahead and you know take this uh, let's see uh, can I just is there an easy way I don't want to shift oh shift left click to take okay um, commodity item I don't know, I'll take it but I'm not thrilled about it all right, that was everything that I got in there. Uh, I can have a seat. Paint program offline, says my computer. Ooh, I have some very nice paisley wallpaper. And there is a picture here uh, that is, well, worth a thousand words, as they say. So I can press tab to open my inventory. And here's the screen overview from the tutorial. Uh, left is my inventory slots, and right is my survival constructor, so what I can craft. Uh, the bottom is my life stats and the toolbar. Okay, interesting. Alex, good evening. So, before I started the stream, I did customize my avatar. So, um, I can click on items to use them, like these bandages, with shift and right mouse button. And I exhaled because that healed me up. Uh, I should probably put these on the toolbar. I don't know. It seems like they're good. And then I'll push escape to close it. And find the fridge and eat something. Looks like there's a fridge over here. Oh my, look at that amazing inspirational artwork of, I don't know, paratrooping, just jumping off of a balcony. I don't know if it's, um, you know, the end of this person's life. I can't tell. They looks like they have a jetpack though, so I think they're okay. There's a very nice shower here that I could use if I'm feeling frisky, but I'm not. I feel fine. Okay, so quick transfer items. Press shift left mouse button on an item or use the arrows in the middle to transfer all. And we will transfer all. Hey, Sergeant Slaughter, good to see you, my friend. Happy Sunday to you as well. 
All right, so I took a bunch of stuff, and um, we got an energy bar. We got more root beer. I got a pepperoni pizza, which looks great. I got canned vegetables. It's fantastic is what it is. It's fantastic. Okay. So I need to eat something. All right, I'll eat a pizza. Let's see. Parish time, 55. Um, oh. Cereal, parish time, 19. Okay, let's eat this. I ate some cereal. Hey, Macrograms. Good evening, my friend. Hey, if you're having fun, there's nothing embarrassing about it. This is... I'm learning the ropes, but it seems pretty intuitive so far. Oh, there's a hexagonal force field door that I can... Looks like I can go through, and my soul was not claimed, so that's good. Uh, okay, there's a generator in here. And heat and radiation. Oh, I shouldn't go near this. Um see the upper right edge nearby suit temperature world temperature and radiation and world rads all right let's get away from that before we oh my god gravity failure no oxygen wearing your helmet may help okay you're right uh we lost oxygen that's bad let's talk to the captain oh cool looking captain hey buddy the captain you're back good we need to move all right, is that the planet we're going to land on? It doesn't look very friendly. What is it? We should not stay here. Sensors are calm, but got a bad feelings and all that. Um, got bad feelings and all that, sure. And Galleon is already exploding things. Galleon. Um, I will check. Um, skip all. Why did you lock the bunk door? Oh, it was locked? Yes. This is a dangerous space. Just wait and look at him. It's for your own protection. Wait, dot, 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 curse you. Why, human? You do know this, me this good already. Well, you know, it's me. Your human fleet. I think we found it nearby. Now, please help Galleon before he triggers our cargo. All right. I don't know who Galleon is, but let's go find him. At first, I thought Galleon was the name of the ship. Now I know better. All right, let's go look for... Galleon, I guess he's up this ladder. All right. Press space or C to move up and down. All right. I moved up and I can access the tank. Um, nah, maybe I didn't need to go this way. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't take damage. That's good. Let's go this way. To sprint. Move and hold shift. It'll make you hungry. Okay. So here's the warp drive. Uh, he's over in the other room, it sounds like, with the radiation. It's a little scary. No, he's actually back. All right. How do I get to this guy? I jump over. Oh, my God. I jumped over this. Okay. That's how you do it. Hi. Uh, container extension. Uh, Sure. Um, Galleon's back there. Uh, I don't know if I'm in the right place. Hmm. Alright, talk to Galleon. Alright, Galleon, I need to talk to you. He's back there. Alright, was there a passageway I missed? Wow, look at this, like... This is a kind of a Chinese statue, I'm not sure. Um, interesting. Maybe he's over here and I just went the wrong way. Yeah, I should have gone this way. Okay, I didn't explore well enough. All right, cool. I was making that a lot harder than it needed to be. All right, here's the dude. Oh, he's next to a ship. And he looks like a robot. Cyborg. Okay. He doesn't look very cyborg. Maybe there's some human in there. The human, the human. Um, what is it? I finally made a farm. It is perfect. Sprouts have all it needs. Pots, light, but it does not work. Why? Find out what hinders this plant's construction process. Farm has no oxygen. Suit up. Put on a spacewalk booster, too. Um, it's open to space? No wonder it doesn't grow. I know. You have that sensor in your squishy skull. It will help you to find the leak. Don't you have one yourself? Mine broke years ago. In this profession, hull breaches are very easy to spot. Uh, I don't know what that means, relating to your skull, but let's go for it. 
The armor locker is right behind you. All right. Let's see. I need to suit up. I need to find the armor locker and open it. Here it is. Ooh, looks good. All right. So I will take this, and I will take this um, EVA boost. All right. And I'm going to push tab, and I'm going to um, equip this, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Armor. I got it. Ooh, I have a helmet now. Boosters. Uh, this one. Okay. So this one says J for jetpack, L for light, U to turn your helmet on and off. Makes sense. Um, no insulation. 375 armor. It's full durability. Gives me a little heat and cold and radiation protection. And then this thing... Um, it reduces bullet protection, but it gives you a bunch of cold protection. All right. Well, that's what we need. The farm, it is behind you. Okay. Uh, so he wants me to go out here to do a spacewalk. No oxygen. Wear an armor. I am. I'm ready to roll. All right. Um, oh, okay. Well, this is his farm. It is actually inside. Um, all right. So press N to open the building helper menu. I will. Switch to the debug tab, upper right corner. All right. And click the checkboxes. Show oxygen. Then N to be able to move again. Follow the trail of black O2 markers to locate the leak. Okay. Oh, look, they're D8s. All right. It's over here. Yeah, you're right, Macrograms. That's it, my friend. Uh, or at least that's what it said on the instructions there. All right. And we'll go down here. Uh, let's see. C moves me down. That's like in uh, Space Engineers. I feel like it, it does that, too, to move up and down. All right. And then I'm going to go over here. And this seems to be the leak. I should talk to Galleon about this. All right. Let's go talk to him before I just go out into space. Seems smart. All right. Oh my. Okay, so these are all O2 molecules that are present because they're blue. Um, so I guess if I push N, maybe I can turn that off. Found a leak. A block is not airtight. Farm lost too much oxygen. Go outside. Collect ice. A hundred units. We need that. There's a problem with that, right? Broke the last good drill. Now there's just a cursed tool left. Cursed tool? I won't touch it, but for squishies like you, it'll be good. Cursed? It talks. A lot. In my head. Oh, God. Oh, I hear it. Captain likes it. I cannot comprehend. One of his more strange collections, I suppose. Is Galleon staring at me? You will see for yourself. It's outside, waiting in a box. Opening hangar doors. Leave. Okay. All right. Um, use the jetpack to fly to the cargo box. Here, let me turn on the oxygen debug again so I can make sure I go to the right place. And uh, let's see. They want to go over here. And um... oh, wait, wait. I, th I don't think I'm in the right place. He says maybe he meant... It was in. I need to get the tool first. I think, and they're talking about being in this room, and using a jetpack maybe. J for jetpack. Space up, C down. Leave hangar to continue. All right. So, do you want to leave the hangar? Like, go out the. Right out here. And I can't get through that. Oh yeah, I can. I'm in space. Oh my god, is this where you want me to go? All right, so up, down, collect the drill. Wow, okay, I am outside the ship. Please don't fly away. Um, open container. It's way over here. All right. 
Why would you put the container over here? Just do what it wants. It'll be over quickly. Uh, all right. So here's the survival tool. Uh, some stones. I'm just going to take everything. I don't know. And survival tool into your toolbar below. Okay, so let's move this thing over here like that. Cursed drill. Warning. Hacking attempt detected. Integrity is at 10%. Uh-oh. Oh, the drill hacked me. Hello, can you hear me now? Nice to meet you. Hi, drill. Um, mine the ice resource over here. Lovely time for some action. Ice asteroid is nearby. Hey, you look new. One of these people from another galaxy, I assume. Humans. Well met. That's right. Alright, here's... Uh, select a survival tool with numbers. Then press the right mouse button. And select resource mode. Um, okay. Here, let me go to resource mode. Defense or salvage. Yeah, resource. That one. I did it. And then, I guess I just... Like No Man's Sky or whatever, I'm just blasting this. It's my laser. I got some ice blocks. Take that. Ooh, we're getting a lot of ice blocks. Okay, interesting. You know what I find so frustrating? Frustrating to carry your loot into a bigger box. The cargo pallet has a wireless extender block. We're nearly in range. Just... Try it out. Just fly close to it. Okay, so he wants me to fly close. I'm going to turn off the uh, oxygen debug. And he wants me to fly close to the wireless block over here. All right, so use the logistics system by pushing F4. And then place the ice in there. All right, I'll do that. And then close it when done. I did it. Wonderful. That's cool. Um, if the pallet would be just a little closer, you could even link your inventory with it. Awesome stuff. Hey, Joker, what's up, my friend? Good evening. I'm having fun so far. All right, so let's see here. I knew it. Drones incoming. Wait, drones? What are you talking about, drones? I'm not ready for drones. Uh-oh, look at that. Incoming message. Hey, thank you for following, my friend. So, listen up, both of you. Ship's been hit. Wrong spot. All tragic. Ammo is cooking off. You don't trust me, I don't trust anyone. We have to leave now. Wait, what the? Galleon? Cursed you. Human, the ship is lost. Get to the teleporter. Meet you at the other side. Uh, you mean like the other side of life and death? Um, okay, oxygen will be removed. It, yeah, that ship is gone. All right, that's less than ideal. Okay, so you want me to go to the teleporter. Well, that's unfortunate. These drones will ignore you. Detecting a teleporter here. Oh, okay. Let's go over here. All right. And let's see here. Trying to convince these drones of the joys of mining. Yes. All right. Let's see. It looks like I can get in through here, actually. And there's something. Uh, the teleporter is not active. It's offline. The power is out. The ship's core got blasted. You need to claim this wreck. There's still a way. Check that box over there. Detecting a spare core. Okay. There's an emergency core. Sure. Um, ooh, there's some beans. All right. Take everything. And put the core on the toolbar. Okay. Sure. We can do that. Got it. Select the block with numbers, then place it in a safe spot. All right. Um, I'm just going to put it right there because it's a safe spot. Um, overload damage detected. Congrats. You just became a captain. Great. I'm going to turn off my jetpack. Oh, that wasn't smart. Um, teleporter's back. Let's get moving. All right. Let's go do this. Press F to teleport. All right. Here, teleport me. Did it. Had to improvise a bit. The bad news, we won't catch up with your crewmates. With the power lost, the teleporter 
target had been wiped. That is bad. Um, don't worry. We'll be back to mining in no time. What am I in? A jello? Pool? Welcome to the Explorer Point star system. Okay. Get out of the box. Sure. Get me out of the box. Um, can I mine my way out? You cannot damage the target with this weapon. All right. Um, what about salvage mode? Press against walls. Oh, okay. Just press. I did it. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Eric. What's up, my friend? I'm so glad you found those guides to be helpful. I love magic. Oh, okay, Alex. It's like the claim box from Seven Days to Die. Sort of. Well, maybe not. Anyway. Um, this area is... Oh, he said find food and loot. Okay. I could do that. Let's go. What do we got? Um, there's a fridge. There's a bunch of spoiled food. I'm, I'm going to take the good food for now. And I am going to eat. This says how much food does this give me? A hundred? Yeah, okay. I'm going to just eat that. That's a good question, Eric. I'm not sure. I have a bunch of videos on the channel. Is what's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. Yeah, this is my first time, so I don't know how much has changed or if this game is complete or where it's at. Uh, I have a light. Oh, cool. I have a little flashlight. Yes, Eric. I love Subnautica. I have a complete Let's Play that goes through the whole game on the channel as well as a guide. I'm a huge subnautica fan um let's see so harvest this fun looking guy plant protein yes that's plant protein for food bandages the more of this the better but i've seen people getting sick from eating this raw it also spoils fast better to craft energy bars out of it you got this suit constructor okay Survival Suit Constructor. To craft, click on the picture of the energy bar. Okay. And craft it. I don't know. Right click it or... Um, yeah, I did it and it made it. Cool. All right, Eric. Thank you so much for stopping in, my friend. Take care. All right. So I made this. So I'll take this. And scavenge for loot. Okay. Let's do it. Um, I discovered a new POI, the Flotsam Base. Cool. Space corn dogs. They look like space corn dogs. All right. Investigate? Sure. This looks like a fine thing to investigate. Whoa, boy. The gravity on this planet, or whatever I'm on, is wild. All right. Um, unless. Oh, no. My jetpack was on. That's why. Okay. I turned it off. All right. Um, investigate. Noises. Um, okay, there's a... Ooh, there's a tent and bandages. Take all of it. Great. A tent. Very good. To use, put it in your toolbar. Um, what's hitting me? Why am I taking damage? Spiders. Okay. Here. Uh, defense mode. Kill it. I killed it. Look at that monster. All right, so they wanted to use the tent. You know, it's so funny to be playing a game where, like, you're out in space and you're going to pitch a tent, but I guess there must be oxygen on this planet, so... Luckily, I landed here. Oh, my goodness! The moon. No, is that a moon or is that a gas giant? I don't know what that is. It's huge. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um, so they want me to put the tent in the toolbar. I could do that. There you go, buddy. Select a tent and place it on the ground. I guess I'll put it close to this. I don't want it to spawn spiders on me, though. I'm going to put it right there. Uh, tent. Revive here in case of death. <laughs> yeah, you know, that'll happen. Sleeping will forward time with all its effects. Okay. So I assume it'll make it light, but it'll also make me hungry and such. Okay, food secured. Now this is also important. You need resources for better gear. Okay, Alex. Let's see here. Can I harvest this?
Uh, here's my character tab, Alex. This is what I look like. Oh, do you mean this one? Like the tech tree? Or the factions? Or the tutorial? Um, okay. Let's see. The swirl? Oh, okay. The galaxy map? Oh, wow. Okay. I see what you mean. You show me how big the game is? Good lord. Okay, so I'm at Explorer's Point. All right, let's let's go ahead and get this. Um, I got some carbon. So uh, I found carbon for the portable constructor. Now I also got a bunch of experience when I did this. So um, they want me to get carbon substrate, drill more carbon rocks. Okay, so these look like carbon rocks. This resource is carbon bearing, it says in the bottom right. This is, I don't know. Um, I got a level 2. 10 unlock points available in the tech tree. You can now unlock and craft a new constructor. So I'm going to push this for the tech tree. Gain unlock points, or UP, by collecting experience. Caution, you will need a fitting constructor to craft all these things. See the lower screen edge color, for example. Double left mouse button on an icon to unlock the template. Okay, so small O2 tank. They want me to unlock the portable constructor. Above, select the mist tab and scroll down, and it's to the left side. Hey, Colt, what's up, my friend? Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. All right, we're going to go here. I'm going to go to MISC, and I'm going to go to... Um, portable constructor. Unlock. That's it. With the data you collect, I can restore your crafting templates. Check back here after gaining levels to continue. Um, use the tech tree. Oh, okay. I am, Colt. Thank you so much. I hope you are as well. Oh, okay, Macro. Thank you. Um, let's see. So, I've got 10 unlock points... And, geez, I don't even know what I would want to unlock. Um, oh, looks like the ground is glitching a little bit here graphically. Let me get out of that. So, craft the portable constructor in your survival suit. Open tab and click on the picture over here. This one. I'm making it. So I can dismantle that ship, maybe. Crafting times. In the main game, you can adjust these in the difficulty settings. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the water is doing that. Um, okay, put it in your toolbar and select it. All right. So, it's back to normal now. I'm going to put it near my tent, I guess. This is a terrain-placeable device. They only work outside. Access it with F, okay? Portable constructor. It has its own inventory input field. Needs to be stocked with crafting materials. Okay for the next page. Alright. This constructor has much more templates. The list is at the right side. That's just a part. To see more templates, switch to display filters. Okay. Hover your mouse over the small filter icons above the list. Close this toolbar window first. The left row is template. The right row is sort by structure. Okay. So I could see like... Medicine, for example. Oh, yeah, okay, I see all these different things that I can make. Goodness gracious. Start by crafting a hover bike. Put carbon substrate from your inventory into the constructor's input field. Okay, so I have some carbon substrate, so I'll put it over here. And then, oh, yeah, the hover bike is right here. Five will give you a hover bike. Oh, I see, Alex. Wow, so the game still receives updates. That's fascinating. Okay. 
upper right symbol row, select a devices symbol. It looks like pathways on a microchip, okay? Click on the hoverback template to craft. Yes. I'm going to make this, and here it goes. It's being made. Okay, I made a hover bike, and I'm going to put it here, I guess. Uh, the bike is only made for land travel. Select it and place it on the ground. All right, I'm going to put it right there. Um, careful, it will fold up if you leave it too long uh, in the open. Just pick it up your into your toolbar and place it when needed. Okay. Um, wow, cool. Look at my little bike here. Um, hover controls, space to gain height. And C to lower it to the ground. Okay. Um, I just sat on the bike. And... Okay, I gained height. Oh, this is really cool. Alright. Um, and they want me to... Hold a weapon, have its ammo, hold a detector. Alright. Look at this. I'm flying around on the hover bike. Take that. More loot? Let's go find out. Use the resource mode of the survival tool and fire at that tree. Oh, it wants me to fire at the tree. Okay, sure. I discovered the old weather station. All right. Let me uh, get off the bike. All right, so I'm going to um, select my thing, go to resource mode. I'm going to fire at this tree. Bam, bam, bam. Take that tree. Maybe they meant this tree. All right, I got logs. Can I break this one? Now, this tree looks invincible. Oh, I finally broke it. Took a long time. Okay. Um, and let's see. Let me get my bike and go check out some other stuff, I guess. Hold a weapon. Um... I can make the survival tool I have, the detector I need to make. All right, um, let me go back to my thing here, and I'm going to try to use this, and I want to make um, a detector, and, oh, I can make it with just one substrate, so I'm going to make it. Okay, I'll put it down here. And then this is just a, a gun or a chainsaw. Um, all right, so let me get a chainsaw, but I need mechanical components and electronics. A detector, this will help a lot with navigation. Fire it up with left mouse button, okay? So it's scanning and open the map with M. Drag the map with the left mouse button and zoom with the wheel. Right mouse button is markers and waypoints. To list markers, click the upper screen right button looking like a place marker. Okay. I gotta tell you what. This right here, this feature, this is something I've always wished for in No Man's Sky, which was a orbital view and map of the planet so you could, like, easily track where where things are all right so we made this i'm just going to push escape and we're going to get on our bike and it also floats on water oh that's cool um there could be interesting places nearby detecting a source De um yeah the weather station might be the power source that they're checking out for power so i'm going to move over here and oh dear Okay, here we go. Here's some stuff. So I'm going to... Wrecks like these are a good source of steel. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm just going to go to uh, salvage mode. Collect some steel plates. These planets are fairly small. It looks like it. That's the thing with No Man's Sky. Sometimes the planets are actually pretty large, so there'd be a lot of stuff to deal with. Mage, I think it's on sale right now. It's like 10 bucks. I'm breaking all of this. You salvage much faster if you remove the supportive blocks and pick up the debris um, by pressing F. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
Well, let me see if I can actually do that. You will lose some of the materials, though. Just do it for basic things. Oh, okay. Well, then, I need all these materials. Walkway slope. Now, I don't know if this is an option that you can do, but... Um, oh, there's a cargo box. Uh, it's got a bunch of... Oh, it's got the mechanical components. Yeah, take everything. Oh, is it 25 bucks? Never mind. I lied about that. Oh, Canadian. Yeah. I feel like it was on sale, but maybe the Steam sale is over. Oh, God, it fell. Hopefully it didn't hurt me. It doesn't look like it did. All right. So... One thing I would like to see if I could do, uh, that power source over there, I think it has an antenna. It could help us find out where we are. You see how, in, at first I didn't understand, like, the progress I was making deconstructing or doing anything. But it does show you in the bottom right, like, how many hit points the item has and how much you're doing to it by salvaging it. So you can know that you are making progress and how much is left to go. I do wish that there was like a a health bar you could put up on the the items or something to see that more centrally on the UI. Oh, okay. So this just breaks things really slowly. Oh, okay. Thank you. So it's just really slow until I get multi-tools. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I thought this was my multi-tool um, just because, you know, it's got all these different functions of on it. But yeah, it does mine pretty slowly. Break this. Break it all. Salvage it. Pick up the chunks. I tried to pick up some of the chunks. Hey, all fired up. How's it going, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. All right, so I'm going to get some more carbon. Oh, that's the wrong wrong gun. Resource. Okay, so from here, uh, that's the original ship. Get close to a weak signal. It's over here. So let's go get close to it. Oh, there's some cargo I can actually loot. Let me go get that. Hey, Moses. What's up, my friend? Good evening. Yeah, I took the plunge. All right, we're going to go here. We got... We're getting a lot of detectors and copper ingots and all sorts of good stuff. I love it. Now, I'm sure I could break these... crates, but I don't know if I really... how much I need to do that. It takes a long time to break the crate. And if it just gives me a little bit of steel, I'm going to see what it gives me to make a decision about whether or not this is worth my time. I got four steel plates. It's not worth my time. Okay, I'm going to go this way and investigate the signal. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast. I hope I can't crash and take damage because I will die in an instant on this thing. No, it looks like I just hit it and I stopped, so that's good. Oh, cool, Moses. Awesome, my friend. I'm so glad you enjoy them. Oh, pay attention to my weight. My weight is pretty good. But yes, you're right. I am picking up a lot of stuff. Oh, okay, look at this. We found a little base here. You just found a place of interest, or a point of interest. Places like these offer adventure, challenges, loot. Okay, great. I like all of those things. Um, invulnerable core variant. All right, what you got in the box? Some cement. Okay, we'll take some cement. Admin cores, pink or blue glow. Special dungeons and story places. Everything damaged can be destroyed. Everything intact is turned invulnerable. Such POIs are displayed on the map as a chevron. Okay. 
So get inside the cellar. Wow, so this is kind of like Seven Days to Die <laughs> POI. All right, um, I don't know. Switch it. Evacuate. Okay, that broke. I didn't mean... I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that to break. Uh, get inside the cellar. So I just use my jetpack and go down there? Uh, it looks... It looks dubious. Alright, fine. I'll do it. That core was odd, as if it was scanning us. I think it uses the protection field to counter anything you do. At least it tries to. Alright. So we're in, everybody. Alright, it scanned us. Cargo box. Oh my, look at all these bullets and things. I'd love to take it all. I'm sure I can't carry everything. Oh no, I could. It's stacked. Okay, so it just wasn't stacked up. All right, great. I got some bullets. Um, some first aid kits. Yeah, take all that stuff. Oh, uh, wait, what's breaking? Uh-oh, you got wounded. Um, see the red icon. Yeah, I got a broken bone. Heal it as soon as possible, or at least mitigate it so it doesn't get worse. Okay. Um, to heal, open your inventory tab. All right. Select the stats tab at the upper right corner. Okay, and point the mouse on the red icon at the right side. Closed fracture to learn about healing mitigation. Consume medicine, shift right mouse button on the item. So this says, uh, to closed fracture, I need bandages, but I could heal it with a first aid kit. So I have a first aid kit. They just gave me one. So I'll just use it. Um, wait, so it said shift. No, that's not right. Um... Ah, shift, right click, okay. Oh, okay, Alex, thank you. I'll try to watch my weight. All right. Hey, there's a shower down here. Use the shower. Reduce radiation. That sounds great. All right. Look at that green sludge on the ground. That doesn't look good. All right, so I think I emptied everything that was in here. And I got some cool stuff. So what did I get here? I got bullets. I got first aid kits. Uh, great. I think we leave now. Or, oh, there's another path over here. Uh, there's an alien container. Found a secret. This is a special loot container. Often, they are well hidden. Check your surroundings to find them all. I do love hidden loot containers. All right, what you got? They got emergency rations. I mean, the amount of detectors that they give you is ridiculous. Um, texture and color tool. Okay. And a sniper rifle. Alright. Well, that's cool. I'll put this down here. And I'll put this over here. And we can put this here. That's fine. Okay. Um... This bag of... Oh, these steel plates are the heaviest thing I've got. Dumped down to one detector. Yeah. I think I checked all of the crates because I, I went in here to the fuel tank. Um, and I don't know what this wants, you know, fill the fuel tank. Um, but I accessed this cargo pallet and this cargo box. And I think that was everything. This doesn't... You can't access it unless I break it and there's something hidden inside. Not really. Nothing hidden inside. Okay. So I'm going to go to my inventory, and I'm just going to uh, drop this. Uh, no, not put on there. I'm going to just drop it. I'm trying to just... If I click on the where it says drop, it doesn't really do anything. Hmm. 
don't know what to say about this thing. I, I want to get rid of it. Um, maybe there's a key command to drop or like... Um, Anyway, I'll leave. Okay. Um, I need to get out. Let me out. Here we go. The antenna signal points north towards north. Okay. Oh, there's a box. I see. Okay. I didn't see that there... When I was looking at it, I couldn't see the box. Okay, great. I was clicking on the word drop, not on the box underneath. Perfect. All right, there we go. All right, so we, they want us to keep going north, which I can do that. I'm fine with doing that. I do, though. What's in here? There's another tent. Maybe I want to build another one to have another you know, respawn point. There's my bike, and it's getting folded up. Okay. And they want me to keep going north. Alright, I'll do this. I'll follow the tutorial for now. And... I wish I could turn faster on my hover bike. Like, I could turn the sensitivity way up on my control, my mouse, but it... Anyway, um, let's go. Oh god, I, I've hit a tree. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. The antenna signal points beyond this ocean, too far away even for a long swim. And your hover bike is too weak to go over the water. Check out at your side. I'm moving the marker, okay? Get close to the building. Oh, look. Look at this thing. I've found a destroyed mining tower. A copper deposit. Okay. Ground copper deposit. This tower seems too old, but the copper could still be useful on this planet copper is rare okay um the deposit is inside the tower let's check it out sure let's let's check it out all right um i'm gonna get off my bike and we're gonna go up here we're gonna check it out so what do we got this oh boy my jetpack let me turn it off um, let me access this there's another tent here i'm gonna take um all of these bullets i don't even have a gun to use oh i have a sniper rifle never mind Okay. Hopefully we don't need that. Wait, before you jump down that hole, one thing. Okay, you tell me. Tunneling is fun, but this could be much more comfortable. Alright. Your suit seems equipped with a tool drone. Okay. Um, ooh, we got a shotgun. Sweet. I'll take a shotgun. We'll put it on the bar. Oh, we have two shotguns, all right. Um, so if I push F5... Oh! With this drone, you can drill copper down there. Wow, look how cool this is. I have a little drone that I can fly around. Look, there's me. Okay, interesting. Here's all the copper. Yeah, you can see it. Medium... 100% or left. Okay. Um, well, never mind. Um, select the survival tool and go to resource mode. Drill build scout. St stats are really impressive. Seems it can do it all except shooting. Okay, use shift to move it faster, right? I'm just scanning this, or blasting away at this copper. This tower, I think I know where we are. Okay. This, there's a settlement nearby. They also dig for ore. Marking it on your map, but you'll need your hover bike to reach it. Okay, sure, we'll reach it. 
with the hover bike. Um, all right. Wow, the, the complexity of this game, like the amount of systems that are functioning in the game is pretty staggering. Uh, I don't really need to get more copper at the moment. It doesn't seem vital. So if I push F5, I guess I just turn off the drone and I regain control of my character. Um, and the drone just kind of goes back with me. Cool. And I can aim my shotgun. Great. Let me get back to my bicycle. So my hover bike is over here. Fantastic. All right. And I'm going to push spacebar to take off. There are factions as well, says Alex. Wow, that's interesting. All right. So northeast of the island, uh, we go over here. Settlement detected. I see it. <laughs> this bike is so hysterical how fast it is. All right, let me get some clear space to go through. Here we go. We're punching it. It's like the speeder bikes on Endor. Wow, look at this area. It's really pretty. That's a good question. Um, press Alt for the unlocked camera in third-person view. And... Um, there are places where the water is shallow. Your hover bike is weak on water, but maybe it could still travel there. You could see it better with the distance camera. Alt doesn't actually unlock the camera for me. Maybe if I'm off the bike, but when I'm on the bike, it doesn't do that. Um, let's see... Mage, the copper went into my inventory. So you can see down here, I'm at 425 out of 600 volume. So I'm filling up. Doing things in their territory can affect your reputation. Well, does being an amazing hover bike operator count? Okay. We're making it, but yeah, going across the water is brutal. Look at these waves. It's cool. Seems like a bit of a maze. Better check your map with M, okay? Oh, I see. Yeah, it is a bit of a maze. Let me go over this way. It's a little bit shallower. Okay, we made it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, we found a settlement. This place, it used to be a busy hub. What happened here? I don't know, man. You tell me. Well, let's find out. Let's go up here. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? Only a rough location, too. For it to be shown on your map, you need to discover it. Either fire with your detector nearby... Or get close with a vessel, a drill, alright? I fire with my detector. Oh wow, Alex, thank you for the heads up. Get close to the building when riding your hover bike or fire your detector nearby. Oh, I'm not close enough to the settlement. I'm like at this ore drop. Okay, I, I misunderstood. Alright, let's get closer. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm through the trees. Maybe we can contact someone for help. Try the console at the top of that antenna relay. I will. I will try that. I'm scanning it. I found it. It's the subspace antenna. Okay. Um, not allowed. All right, I got to go on top. So I'm going to turn on my jetpack and I'm going to hold space bar to fly up here. Okay. And, oh no, they mean up here. Never mind. I am not at the right place. I thought they meant on top of this thing. Whoa, whoa. Okay, look at that geyser right there. Uh-oh. 
volcanic activity. All right, here we go. We're going to fly over here. And I'm going to get off my bike. And check out the comms console. I'm going to run. All right. Uh, okay. Climb the ladder. Jump over here. All right, we made it. And I'm just going to use this console. Cannot access network. Connection has been manually severed. Hmm, seems to have been taken offline. Need to power on that console again. Try those levers. Leave the console. All right, these levers. Try this one. Activating signals. Activating devices. That's right, do it. Main power lever unlocked. Oh, it's right there. Oh, God. I jumped a little bit too high. Here, can you just... Do I need to hit this? I might not need to. What do you got? Um. Okay. Turn the antenna lever. Yeah. All right, let me try it again. Got it. All right. Connecting to subspace network. Successful. Your network ID is dot 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 incoming call detected. Okay. Human, is that you? Incredible. Oh, it's the captain. You made it. But how? How did you even end up in that system? Spaceship teleporters don't reach that far. No matter, get on a ship somehow, and we'll meet up back here at Heka Artemis Star System. Your fleet is here. My fleet? Oh, the human fleet. Talk to you later. Oh, and if you warp back, just try to avoid the local Xerax. Galleon, if you would be so kind, explosions. Uh-oh. Timeout reached. Connection failed after 1,500 retries. Stopping. Hmm, that didn't sound good. I have data that might help you. A warp-capable space vessel is still on this planet, but it is too far out. You can't talk back. We need another way to communicate. Open your PDA with F1. Okay. The PDA lists the missions available to you, displays the last, tes the last text messages of a mission. Oh, good. Sometimes they go too fast. Has reminders and FAQs. The left side is the missions you can do. The top window are the steps of the mission. And tabs at the top. Imperiopedia. Find more info. PDA log. List all messages. Try them out. Okay. So, uh, try the PDA. How it works. Um, right. Okay. PDA log. Here we go. Uh... It's not a very long log, is it? Much more in the main game. Oh, wow, okay. Until you're getting to that island, um, over there there was once a farm. Maybe it could make a good shelter or a place to drop off some things that you carry? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's drop off some of the things that I carry. I have too much stuff anyway. Um, actually, let me... Can I see what you just said about the farm? Okay, here we go. Until you're getting to that island, we'll likely have to stay here a bit. All right, let's do that. Okay. Let's go, Hoverbike. Here we go. Oh, boy. Turn, bike. Turn like the wind. Oh, dear. Turning around is no easy feat on this bicycle. All right. Um, here's the farm front entrance. So let me get off the bike and check this out. The doors are locked shut. I could try to hack them. Alternatively... There are still some explosives attached. Your choice. All right. Um, please have the tab at the top left selected. With tutorial tab at the left side is a choice. Click on the mission. All right. So why don't you hack the door? Um, activate tutorial. 
Way more elegant. All right. Um, be close to the farm. Oh, did he hack it already? That was pretty easy. All right, good job. We're in. Look at this. Careful in that room. Oh. That's a Xerox robot left here to greet potential rescuers. It won't negotiate, and I cannot seem to reach it. Just shoot it back. All right, where's my shotgun? Oh, in there is the robot. All right. Um, destroy the robot and destroy the teleport pad. Okay. Make sure I'm loaded. I am. I broke it. Um, okay. Here, let me go to this and just say, like, what? Salvage? Um, core block. Oh, this thing? That is not hurting it. Uh, here. I broke it. Oh, God. Okay, well. Um... Okay, that's... Oh, my God. Okay, well... Yeah, we did it. We got it. Take that. That leaves us with a base, ready to be claimed. There's an emergency core in that cargo pallet nearby. Get it. Oh, I see it. Ooh, we got an assault rifle, too. Sweet. Take everything. Press F to access the security robot. All right. Um, I'm going to take everything. Now place your own core, okay, at a safe spot. Well, this looks safe. Oh, look at this little cabinet. It looks like you could have a puppet show there. All right, let me get the core. I put it in. Structured owned by me. Since you're now the owner, you have full control over this base. Try it. Point at the floor and press P. Oh. Control panel. Critical management tool for any base or vessel. Example, remote access to devices, crafting and inventory, statistics, warnings. Okay for the next page. It is, Maze. It's huge. Um, health of the base and here's things to fill. Okay. Turn things off and on. The top row of tabs, device list to specialized controls. The drill. To the left of energy status check. No output, no consumption despite power being turned on. Likely there got something uh, important got destroyed. Please click on the device list tab above. Okay. So, device list and all base blocks with functions sorted into groups. Check for damage and missing blocks. Right to access the selected devices. Okay, so... No wonder the generator got destroyed. And the solar panels are missing a device, too. Close the window once you're done. Alright. Um, okay. I'll close it. Those missing devices we have to replace. Otherwise, the base stays dead. There is... Please open the container controller next to the old core location. Okay. Yeah. Cargo array. A modular, expandable cargo system. It could store huge volumes. Good for large devices. You could drop off your loot here. Okay. Take one of each of the blocks and place them. A generator and a fuel tank. Okay. One. Two. For the generator... Better choose at a spot away from you. Oh, I can't carry this because it's too heavy. So I need to put some stuff away. So I'm going to put away, like, this... A bunch of my crafting stuff for now. Because it's so heavy. So I can carry some more. Alright. Hopefully that does a better job for me. And... Um, place these devices in a safe spot. You can rotate them with home and end, and you can change the access with insert and delete. Hopefully this room is a safe spot, so I'm going to put stuff in here just to be out of the way. 
And let's see here. All right, so I'm gonna put one here. Oh, this thing is huge, okay. All right. Now, I don't know if this has to be like attached or anything. Alright, whatever. I'm putting it down. Oh, it's radioactive? Well, that's less than ideal. Alright. Access to fuel tank. Alright. Behind you, at the ceiling repository... Oh, um, it, uh, please open. Oh, so this is radioactive. I get it. Okay. Um, I got some biofuel. We'll take it. Now, back to your fuel tank. Access it with F. Okay. Fill it. I filled it. Put it in there. Okay, thank you. I will place the generator away. Can I, um, remove it? Like, if I salvage it, is there a way to move it without breaking it? Anyway. Please check the control panel. Okay. We have a generator and fuel. Now try the general power switch right above. Alright, so we're going to go to the general power switch. Right above. Okay. Left hand side, the energy stats have changed. You could see it better if you turn the power off and on again. Power left, that's your time in hours and minutes. Okay. I got 14% power left. The base will turn off soon, and with it all systems, like fridges and weapons. Needs more fuel than that, but on such a lush planet, energy is easy to find. Detecting another signal at the tree line. Could be helpful in several ways. Okay, sure. There's where they want us to go. We will pick up my bike. Oh, yeah, you can. Um... Okay, that's fun. We're going to the power source, people. Or the signal source. Oh, okay. This, in the cargo planet, these are tools to collect fuel. Okay, oh boy, I'm out of control. But in the best possible way. All right. Oh, yeah, chainsaw. All right, satisfactory style. And canned vegetables, missile rocket launcher. Oh, my. Okay. So we will take this. Ah, this is the stuff you need to take down the enemy's base's sentry turret, but we don't need to do that now. Um, okay, so I got the chainsaw, and we can make this into biofuel. So this is the satisfactory element. So let's do it. Alright. Ooh, I got some more perks. See, I don't even know what I... Uh, found weapons or tools. Unlock them here tool to be able to craft them and the ammo for them. Okay. I have no idea at all of what I, you know, should unlock. 
the multi-tool everybody keeps saying this is really good so i'm gonna try and unlock this um yeah unlock it this is your main building tool most important function is full block retrieval okay this is what i'm talking about for ammo clips you need to find the resource promethium okay and the drill um, i can't get this yet Oh, I have to be level 7. Okay, that's why. Or scanner. That looks good. Uh, weapons. Hey, very good. Are you some kind of mining veteran? This could be a fast way to get the device. No need to craft it. There could be. Oh, okay. Um, Alright, and then... Probably want to... You know, a small vessel. Uh, generator. Gatlin gun. Oh, boy. Fuel tank, O2 station, fridge, capital vessel, base. Wow. All right. You know, I have no idea what I need, so I'm going to kind of hold off. I don't want to use up all my points incorrectly. Collect wood by cutting, somehow. So when I use the chainsaw, it doesn't tell you... Um, how much health the tree has. That's a good stack. That should do for the moment. Alright, we got it. Crafting biofuel takes time. You could sleep over it, but that might spoil your food. Our predecessors here, it seems they crafted it in parallel. Okay. Place the wood into several constructors. Craft 15 biofuel in parallel to save time. All right. Um, I don't know what that means. Talk to the console. Check last messages. This is rescue. Hearing you loud and clear. Understood. Please keep calm. You're safe now. Message data. We have an urgent request from Mission Ops. Repeat. This is an A1 case. Please see file. Confirm. Network is offline. Well done. Pickup will take a bit longer until the code sappers are ready. Oh, okay. Thank you, Alex. We apologize for not calling back sooner. The whole star cluster has been listed for quarantine. Yes. Just leave this mess as is. And tech unit wants to have a talk. No, just to know that what we might be getting into. Um, message date. This is... We organized a local transport called Taurus. Collection point is at Northern Nest Base. Get there ASAP. Yes, but really well-paid ones. Don't worry. Blueprint for cheap hover vessels at the end of the message. Spawn it with the factory. Oh, um, a Xerox battle cruiser is headed for in-system. Uh-oh. The whole set together with a drone-based teleporter lens. What's the status of your hover vessel? End of messages. All right. So, did I get the blueprint? That would be nice. Okay. Um, Alright, so there's... Oh, I already got some of the stuff out of here. I could sleep. No, no, no. Alright. Um, okay, so this is a constructor. So, what they want me to do is... Split with the right mouse button. Okay. Alright. Output would be biofuel. There it goes. All right, we're making some biofuel. All um, oh, okay. I see. These are blueprints and ships and stuff. Um, all right. All 
Oh, I think I... Yeah, I kind of messed that up. Oh, well. Uh, there we go. All right, it's going. It is going to take a while, though. You could see it's it's crafting it, but it's going to take a second here. Which is why you want a whole bunch of these things so you can do this quicker. I get it. It just needs fuel, like biofuel. Just drop it into those slots. Um, okay. Alright, I got biofuel. Crafting done. This should be enough for now. Let's head back to the base. Alright. We're going to go back to base and fill this up. Let me get my hover bike. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I'm out of control. Okay, we're going to go... No, no, not that way. Yeah, here we go. here's where we need to go. Oh boy. Oh, that's a way to turn. Wow, look at that view. Um, I cannot reach the other buildings. Whatever happened here, it really hardened their defenses. Hey, Chef Smitty, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Um, you do not need to get inside. You could fill your tank from right here. Stand close, point at a wall, and press P to access the control panel. Okay, now switch to the device panel. Select your tank in the list at the left. It is still ungrouped, so it will be at the bottom. Then click on access at the upper right corner. Okay, so fuel tank, access, fill the new fuel in. Okay, there we go. Let's see how much that yields. Well, when done, close the window. Um, okay, and open the control panel main tab. All right, please switch back to the main tab. There are the power stats, okay? To the left, a bit better. Good for a fridge and farming, but once you start crafting, this probably won't last long. Okay. All right, so we got some more power. We don't have enough for the shield, the lights, or the turrets, it looks like. Yeah, the CPU usage is too much. Okay, but we do have oxygen and such. Um, all right. With this power, this place was once a farm. Needs a bit of love, but it could still serve as such. All right, I hope so. Hey, Siloom, what's up? Good to see you. All right. So let's check the fridge first. Oh, there's actual stuff in here. These fridges are part of a food crafting system. It's currently offline. Check out the food processor nearby. Ooh, there's some big burgers in here. Sweet. Okay. Food processor for nourishment and medicine. All right. Click OK for overview. Um, on the left, select a container. Middle is the crafting queue and right is templates. Select fridge input from the drop down list. It could have enough resources to craft bread and a burger. Okay, so we're going to select fridge output. Oh, wait, maybe I mean, am I supposed to say fridge input? Yeah, here we go. And then I want to make um, a burger, I guess. Okay, so left side at the drop down menu. There's a small button next to the fridge's name, triangle. Press that to get to the fridge itself, okay? In here, you can access the items. Upper middle screen, a handheld remote control icon. Press that to go back to the constructor, all right? Oh, okay. Huh, interesting. Wow. There is a ton going on, but I made a burger, and that's all that matters. Okay, um... I don't know, make more burgers. Make bread. 
Make a steak crate. Okay. We're doing it. It's making food. Um, let's check the growing plots. I love that this food processor kind of looks like a crazy stove top. Sweet. All right. Uh, check the area. It looks like... The, is this closed? Can I not get in here? Where's the door? Let me in. Yeah, open it. There we go. All right. Um, a farm system full of crops, ready to pick. It has grow lights and a ventilator with an O2 tank. <laughs> yeah, Siloom, it definitely has a lot going on. You can't rely on found food. Suggest to the other plant pots, too. All right, so I'm going to pick up some grain, I guess. Um, all right, so it's got inventory management out the wazoo. All in all, granted, I've only played this game for a little bit and Space Engineers for a little bit, but this appears to be slightly more user-friendly than Space Engineers. But they're pro they're just different games, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, um, so find the repository, open it. All right, it's got a blue prepper sprout and an Ahax plant. All right, take everything. And put them into your toolbar. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. No, no, no. There we go. Place them under your glow lights and select and then left mouse button. Okay, so under my lights. I guess in an empty patch like that. It could use a bit more growing plots. Yeah, it really could. There we go. But even if we have more plots, there's no way to pick those up. There could be a multi-tool nearby. Putting a marker on it. Oh, okay, cool. The quest gives you a multi-tool. So I was going to like try to craft it, but yeah, let's just keep following the tutorial because it's just giving us stuff. You'll love it when they just give you presents. All right, so there's a multi-tool out here, apparently. Or maybe I... Oh, in the wardrobe. Okay, I was looking at the wrong marker. Over here. Wow, this doesn't look good in here. Oh my gosh. There it is. Take it. We will. Multi-tool. Main building tool for block manipulation repair upgrading. Sweet. That's a good question, Mage. Let me look at that. With this multi-tool you hold, detecting a place full of growing plots. Check your markers, okay? Find the lost garden is what they're telling me to do. I'm still working on a Mage, but the, tu like, the one tutorial I'm on in Space Engineers, I don't even know how to complete it, so we'll have to figure it out. The tooltip for the food says what it does. So yeah, you could um, check this out, Mage. When you mouse over the food, it tells you how long before it perishes, how much health, food, and stamina, and body temperature it gives if you eat it, as well as its mass, volume, and market price. How about that? So I am, I'm actually very hungry, so I will uh, eat this pizza. And you can see my hunger bar filled up significantly. All right. So let's go get some stuff. But I'm going to practice with this multi-tool. I'm going to try to move my generator. Retrieve blocks. Yeah, pick up a block. All right. So I picked up the generator. And I'm going to put it outside, I guess. Where I don't want it. I don't know if you have to put it inside. Let's find out. No, it doesn't look like you do.
It has to touch the base. Okay. I put it on the base. So it's kind of like Space Engineers in that way where you're like attaching blocks. Uh, but it's out there and so now it won't irradiate me probably as profoundly. Okay. Put that down. And let's go to the Lost Garden, shall we? Let's ride a bike flying around. Oh, it's it was like way closer than I thought. Oh my god. Okay. I'm so out of control in the bike. Um, picking things up. Could you open logistics? It's a time saver. Yeah, I definitely need a, a DVD player. And the entire, like, you know, Simpsons, Seinfeld library. It's a priority target for enemies. I can only imagine. Remember back in space, ice mining? You could teleport the ice into a distant box. This one is the same, just automated. The pick up two box. Pick up items directly into the cargo box. Wow, collect things, even if your own inventory is full. Okay, how do I do that? Um, directly above. Middle vertical row and topmost is a wireless symbol. Press this, connect to the box. Okay. I did it. Yeah, Futurama, good call. All right. Um, so I don't know if I'm actually grabbing this stuff. It looks like um, connect to container on the right. If enabled, picked up items will be put in that container. Also enable the connected toolbar where you can store items to use for building. Mm. Oh, wait. I'm connected to the fridge right now. So if I pick something up, it goes into the fridge is what you're telling me? Well, wh what if I want it, like, into the cargo array, I guess? No, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, I lost it cargo array. Okay. Um, your toolbar has been switched out with a virtual one, representing things that are still in the container. Oh, so I can use stuff. Press T to switch back to your multi-tool. With this, you can collect huge blocks. But if you use the multi-tool right now, it might break things instead of retrieval. Place, uh, because that tool needs help, place a core in the garden and claim it. There's one in the repository over there. All right, let's see what they got. Yeah, okay. Um, there is a sniper rifle. There is small energy. So I'm going to take this and this. I'll take the bullets. I already have a sniper rifle. I don't think I need another one. And then... Let me then place the core. Okay. Try to pick up a block. Alright. Like that. Go straight into the box without you lifting a finger. Let me check that. Oh my god. Look, it did. Okay. Um, very good. Those things will now wait at the farm for you to use. We could go back, but... For a tiny moment, I think I detected something there. Really strange. Mm, okay. Um, so, this... I've connected the cargo array, the big storage box that we have, to the uh, wireless or whatever. And so when I picked it up, it you could see it put the corn and the growing plot into the inventory back at the base remotely. I mean, that's amazing. All right, so... Uh, follow the rough direction of the area that they want me to go over here. Okay. By the way... I'm gonna take that seat. I'm gonna take all this stuff. 
Like all of these plots I should take. I love how it zaps it in one go. It's awesome. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. All of it. Sweet. We're taking all of these plots. I want it all. Oh my gosh. Okay, I really broke that. Alright, that looks good. Okay, I'll leave that core there, I suppose. I could pick up the core so I could go... Um... Move other stuff. I guess. I don't think there's anything else here that I need. So let me pick this up. Or maybe I don't know how to pick it up. Oh, I didn't pick it up. I broke it down into constituent pieces right there. So that is not a block that I can pick up with my multi-tool, it doesn't seem like. Alright. So I'm going to get on my bike. You're about to leave the remote logistics network. Turn around to avoid a disconnect. No, it's okay. Uh-oh, it turned me around on that hill. A treasure finder. Upper screen corner. Uh-oh, it's flying me around. Stop. Around the radar. Red direction hint rings. The more inner ring elements, the more structures you could find. Okay. Um, I discovered a new resource. A Promethean deposit. The radar rings have a much higher sensitivity. They always point roughly toward a structure. Walk in that area and use the direction changes to locate the hidden signal. Alright, so I don't know if I should get off of my bike because it's just way too fast. Let's see what happens. Let me get off the bike and just pretend. Alright. So, the red rings, you could see them around. Okay. Use the red rings of the radar to locate what tries to hide. Walk on the grassless area. Observe the changes in the ring's direction. Okay. I guess, do I want them to fill in? Oop. I'm walking around. I could see the red rings. And... They want me to go over this way. Oh, nope, not that way. It turned it off. I'm assuming I want... The rings to be... Red... All the time. So when they're all red, when they're all lit up red, that means... Good. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Nick Man, good morning. Good to see you. Maybe I have it opposite. Maybe I want them to be gray. Maybe the gray direction is telling me which way to go. I don't know. Oh, wait. Dig out an open treasure where rings flip the most. Okay, okay. So I want the rings to flip the most. Okay, now we have two actually right here. Oh. There's markers on the map that are actually helping me as well. Okay. It's it's pretty good, Nick Man. This game has a lot of um, interesting complexities, but I'm having fun learning it. I don't know. I'm wondering if I dig with my uh, multi-tool. I don't understand the rings bit at all, given... Um, Oh, set it to resource mode? Oh, right, right, right. With the, uh...
Or maybe I use the... This thing. Okay, here we go. So we found it down here, but I don't think I'm getting the buried treasure. Okay, yeah, I have the drill. It looks like it's down here. I'm drilling straight down to it. We'll see if we find it. Maybe this is it. I'm getting some radiation. Promethium for multi-tool clips. Fuel, really important. And I'm honored. You really pulled through and dug it out. Oh, hey -o. Okay. Alright, I'm hitting this. <gasps> Perfect, Nick Man. That's a good one to try it on. Fuel is radioactive a bit. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's damaged me, you know, forever. Alright, I'm using my jetpack to try to get out. Oh god, I'm not really... There we go, I made it. I'm digging down to this. Watch me go. There it is. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, Portal is definitely... It's got a click. Yeah, you're right. I got to build a shower. Good point. All right, how much of this stuff did I get? I got 14 of the ore, which is pretty good. Now, I still think I... I must have missed it. I don't think I found it. I'll tell you what, though. Um, I did not locate the hidden treasure. Yeah, it's a good point, Nick, man. All right, let's see if we can actually find this hidden treasure. It says, walk on this grassless area and observe the, ch the ring changes. Yeah. And then dig out and open the treasure where the rings flip the most. I mean, the rings are like, they're all red. I don't know if it's a translation thing. I don't understand the word flip in this context, but... Um, Oh, no, we moved it. We're the wrong way. It's back here, Mage. I ran off without it. Because I was worried that the... Uh... The treasure finding wasn't going to work with my hover bike because it was too fast. It's kind of my thought. Oh, yeah, good point. Thank you. I could try the drone and see if it'll dig. Mm. 
the only thing, the only problem with the drone, not like it's a huge deal, is just that, like, um, it doesn't... Oh, look, buried, 13 feet. It just shows you where it is. Okay. The drone somehow, maybe it can just see it. I was going to say I don't have the rings, but if it's just going to tell me... Um, there it is. Look, we found it. All right, I'm going to um, close the drone really fast because I want to see, like what's going on with the rings at this point like how would i know that this is where it was maybe they mean half of the circle is red and half of it's not i i don't know what to say but whoa look at this we found all this cool stuff and a core we'll take it all oh i'm it's loaded too much well you know what we'll do those are too large for you to carry you we're going to need logistics again you could just put these into your yellow toolbar, but if you want to transfer much, place that core on this box. Okay. What box? Um, you mean like physically put it on the box, or did you mean like... Okay, here, let me see. There. There. Good. A core generates a minimal logistics field. Still works as long as you touch a surface. All right. Stand on the cache. Open logistics and push F4. Okay. Um, there are several drop-down lists. For example, player, player inventory, off-world farm. There are two inventories at different places. The tech cache is a third inventory. Switch the left drop down from player to buried tech cache then press the arrows in the center to push the loot from the tech cache into your farms container on the right okay so i will say buried tech cache turn this on and push it over there wow <laughs> yeah, back row grabs. I, I feel you on that. Okay, let's see. And then now, um, I'll just go back to the player inventory, and we'll just close this. Once you're done, let's go back to the farm. The blocks there will be really useful, okay? And now I'm outside. And... Um, Oh. I thought I did this, but maybe what they mean is... Um, move all this stuff over. I'm just putting a bunch of stuff in there. I don't know if it's going to give me credit, though. Left... You can break it down, but it doesn't give you that much. Um, right, keep off-world farm fridge, and then move a CPU and solar extenders into our farms. Okay, so actually, let me try this again. I think I didn't... They don't want it to go here. They want it to go into the um, solar extenders? I don't know. Does it really want it to go into the fridge? I hope I could complete the uh, tutorial without doing this. I did move it into my farm's container, I thought. But maybe I'm not understanding what they mean by farm's container. Do they mean my refrigerator? Alright, let me see this. Right, I moved the buried box. I already did it. I guess I'm not close enough to it. Here, let me get back to it. I moved everything out of there, I thought, and put it into that container. Uh, where are you? Buried box. Here it is. So I went here, and then I said player buried, and there's nothing in it anymore. And I put everything into the off-world farm into the cargo array. I put all of the 
um, extenders, the solar capacitors, everything. So I thought I was good, but I don't know what else it wants me to do. Um, hopefully that's fine. Okay. So let me get my bike back out. And let's ride back to the farm. Um, well, let me make sure I know where the farm is. Off-road farm. Here it is. Here we go. You got new blocks. Oh, I think this is the wrong thing. It says fridge input. Um, oh, place the new blocks. Okay. I'm at the wrong place. Okay. Or maybe I'm not. Hmm. Let me see. I'll find out. Yep, there's my generator. Oh, it's going in the wrong door. Okay. All right, we got there. All right, so place the new blocks. All right. So you can see we have our farm right here. And if I go into this room, I could start placing these blocks. So I'll just open up my thing right here. And then I'm going to go to this so that I can just like throw these blocks not here onto my virtual tool bar or whatever okay and then I'm going to go here and I'm just going to start throwing these in I'm going to put in as many as I've got fill up this farm There we go. I've got more than I even have space for in here, which is pretty sweet. All right, go ahead and plant that. Plant that and that. And plant that. All right. So we got all these farm blocks laid. It does feel good. It feels great. And then we planted all these guys. And then they want us to place a CPU extender and a solar capacitor. So I don't really know where to put these particular blocks and if it matters, but I do have this room, which this place looks like the air is just leaking out the side right here. It's very disturbing. Um, but anyway, I'll pretend I don't see that. I think that that does it for you, but I'm not sure about that, Mage. It's a good question. All right, so here is the CPU extender and then the cap solar capacitor. All right. Whoops. Okay, thank you. I'm just going to put this over here. Good. And the CPU extender gives you builder breathing space. Okay. Push P and then go to select the CPU statistics tab. Soft limit for a structure's use. Exceeding it will make it slower or less painful. Increase leeway by placing CPU extenders. All right. And here's the demand. Okay. So right now, um, those CPU tiers think of expansion stages. For it to work, you only need the latest one active, but it might be good to have a fallback. Okay. So right now we just have this CPU tier 2. So this gives us 200,000 
and currently our use is like 95,000. So before at tier one, we only had 80,000. So we were, we didn't have enough, but now we have more than enough. Okay. Um, good. Solar extenders are some of the most valuable blocks, especially for bigger structures. Protect them well, okay? Now, all right, I'll put it right there. Is that okay? The solar capacitor will collect and store energy from the panels. Just give it time and some good sunshine. Um, the panels, let's check them out. Point at the floor, then press P for the control panel. Select the device list. At the bottom of the list, click on solar panel 2. At the upper screen, activate the switch. Show on the heads up display. Okay. So we're going to click on solar panel 2 horizontal. Show. Okay. That should be it. The panels are on the roof of the base. Get close to the panel you selected. Okay. Well, I think what I've put on the inside is just the battery mage, and the panels are what collect the sun, and they're outside. I think. Find and follow the roof location. Um, though, here's the solar panels right here, I guess. Okay. One green. Get close to the marker. See large white arrows on the base. Right, I do. Check the displays. This one's green, but this one's yellow. Yellow is for current power output. These things should not be in the shade, and you always need both, a panel and a capacitor. Okay. So, to see how much power they generate, aim at them and press P. This directly selects it in the device list, unless you want to quickly tweak things. All right. First, turn off the marker. Okay, over here. Statistics. You can see your full power stats under that power fuel column. Okay. Your fuel base gives you 30 times the power. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So I've got more than enough power. Even with more so panels, solar is just a power saver, not a main source. But crafting biofuel is a slog. Okay. We could use something better as fuel. There is a good resource deposit, adding it to your map, but be, pre be prepared. Please check if you have enough inventory space first. You might need it. Okay. Well, let's do that. So, I'm not sure if this is yellow because it's in the shade, which doesn't seem like it is in the shade, but maybe it's because it has no capacitor connected to it. So, I should put down another one. So, let me go in. It didn't tell me to do this. Um, I don't know why it won't let me go in this door. Is it because there's like a block in the way? It's so weird. Fine. I'll go on the other side. Alright. We'll go over here. This one lets me in. I think there's some block I need to deconstruct. Um, okay, so let's break it then. Retrieve blocks. Yeah, okay, good, I got it. Oh my god, that's awesome. I made it, thank you. Panel efficiency, okay. 
I broke that too, just because it didn't feel like it was doing anything useful. Yeah, this whole base is broken. I feel like I need to repair it. Oh, is this the solar panel? Maybe it's broken. Alright, what if I build, though, another... Break all the broken stuff? Now, that's not the solar panel. It's just some portion of the base that's, like, messed up. Okay. I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to push T, open up my virtual thingamajig, and then I'm going to build another capacitor. I don't know if this is wise or not, but I did it. And then I'm going to check on my solar panel and see if it's doing anything different. And no. So maybe it's just damaged. No, it has all its hit points. I want all of the capacitors down. Oh, okay, thank you. Now, I know it said that the enemies are going to target them, but right now I'm not super concerned about that, so I'm wondering if I can just put them all, you know, outside. They're huge. Or, like, on the roof or something. I'm just putting these down. It's probably dumb. Oh, there's a little easy way to get here. I never noticed this. There's just a stairway up to the roof. Okay, that's useful. This is dumb, but can I put down more of these CPU extender guys? Does this matter? It doesn't look like I can. Maybe because I already have one. That makes sense. Okay, everybody. Thank you. All right. So let's go to the deposit, but let me um, open up my storage. Oh. And I'm just going to put away a bunch of stuff that I don't need to carry. Supplies and such. Uh, I'm actually going to put this in the fridge. Grain. And then let me go over to this and I'll put away the carbon. Um, the canned vegetables, I mean, they can go in the fridge. They didn't really need to, but whatever. I suppose I don't need every single thing. I'm going to put away uh, the sniper rifle. And sniper rifle rounds. I'm just trying to clear up a little bit of volume. Let me sort by volume. Hey, Ja, what's up, my friend? Thank you for saying that. I'm so glad you enjoy the videos, my friend. That's awesome. Alright, I've got a rocket launcher. Here, you can have this. I've got my shotgun. I don't need two shotguns. I don't even think I need... I'm just going to take an assault rifle. I don't know how much combat is a part of things, but I feel okay. I'll, take, I'll keep the rocket launcher for destroying buildings. Alright. Let's go. 
All right, so I'm going to go over here, build my bike. Hey, Brandon, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Yeah, I agree. The amount of content here is pretty staggering. I think a lot of these systems are really unique in this game as well. Um, they want me to go to the deposit. Um, use the hover bike or a detector. Okay. So actually, I'll use my detector, sure. Let's see, there's something on my map. Let me look at this. So these are resources. I mean, I discovered an iron resource. Ah, that's something. Um, not what I'm looking for, though. Get this, uh, find it with your detector and map. Okay. Oh, here it is. It's to the right. Okay. Here we go, straight ahead. This is it, all set, but there's a catch. They are really cool, but scattered and hard to find. I've seen people using a special scanner. He must mean like the, res the mineral scanner, the resource scanner. That over there is an ore processing station. It might still have some useful gear for this. Okay. Go to the entry door over here. All right. Let's go bike. Oh dear. Uh, here we go, yep. All right. Let's see if this is it. I honestly don't know if this is where they want me to go. Uh, I can't breach the door, but one moment. Oh, here we go. Unlocked a maintenance hatch. It's at the top of the building. I was going to say, I could use my drone. All right, here we go. Drone time. There might be a key binding to turn the bike, but I might have to crank my, like, mouse sensitivity way up. If I really, really pick up and roll my mouse, I can turn the bike, but it's pretty painfully slow. Yeah, that's awesome, Alex. I love finding, like, old games, you know, it, that are still updated, that have a, a bunch of cool depth. You know, like Dwarf Fortress, Kenshi... They're old games, but they're great. Okay, let's see. Um, there's a door here. Can I go in here? Detecting a container. A backpack. Ooh, it might contain what we need. All right, we're going in with the drone, people. Go in, drone. This is it. Sneak past those critters. Oh my god, those are big spiders. At the end of the hall, access the backpack and collect the gear. Okay. I'm going to try. I can't sneak past these things. Oh my. Okay, here it is. No, that's not it. Um, is this the backpack? backpack. Alright, well, they're on the ground. They don't look like they're going to kill me right now, so... Kenshi 2 would be amazing. Oh, here it is. I think. Alright. Press F to access the human backpack. Alright. <laughs> a, a credit card. A drill and an ore scanner. Oh, yes. Heck yeah. Yes! That's the best case loot. Once you're done, close the drone with F5. So the... Hey, Kyrock, what's up, my friend? Thank you for following. Oh, my gosh. See, that's the other thing, too, I love about it. I said this when I first got into, uh, you know, streaming and making videos was basically 
um, I had taken a, a break from playing a lot of games as I was finishing up school and then um, my kids were really like babies. And then because of that, I have this huge backlog of games. And then there's games like this that you've never even heard of. And it's had like 10 years or something to mature and develop. And now the game is in this amazing state. Okay, let's see about this. If I go over here... Yeah, see, the drill is like the upgrade of the survival tool in many ways, I think, right? I've been looking for this. I love how when you're the drone and you pick stuff up, it goes into your player inventory. You don't even need to transfer. It's just instant. Um, to convert it to credits, place it into the ATM deposit slot. That's hilarious. All right. Um, so I'm going to put this... I can't wear this, but I can use it keep this in your inventory it won't work on your toolbar oh okay wear your helmet it won't work on there oh okay so it just automatically does it the i don't know how to make it work august 2015 that is hilarious okay um Go back to the deposit. All right, let's do it. So my bike is over here. I can see it on the mini map. <laughs> hey, thank you, Kyrock. Awesome, my friend. I'm having a blast with this game. This is also another reason why I love doing content creation and meeting everybody is because... Um, there's so many games that I've never even heard of. Like, Alex recommended this game. I This was not on my radar at all. And it's so fantastic. So I get to meet people who are like-minded, enjoy similar games, and they can recommend games that I've never played and also help me to understand them. It's so great. Okay. Um, I'm going back to the deposit. It's marked with the Chevron, I think. Let me just check one second. Um, game options. Let me go into controls. And let me go into... Let's see if there's... I know you can use a controller. Um, you can use E and Q, but that did not rotate the bike very well. Um, I don't know if there's separate controls for the bike now. Okay. Anyway. Um, let me see if I can get there. All right, and let me see this. No, I haven't heard of that. That's awesome. Thank you for the recommendation. Oh, my God. I'm out of control. Sometimes with your bike, you, like, flip around. It's wild. Okay. Um, there you go. Okay. I think I'm closer to the deposit. Tool drone for easy results. Okay. Um, keep scanner in inventory. Hold the better drill. Oh, okay. Um, then search for blue outlines in the ground and drill them. All right. No, I think I... Um, I'm doing the wrong thing here. Here's the better drill. Hmm. Not sure if I'm doing this right. Oh, scan. Okay. I've got the better drill. It says, keep ore scanner in inventory. Okay. 
three is my better drill. I've got it. And then it says search for blue outlines in the ground and drill them. I mean, I see blue outlines, but that's just like the targeting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it. But it says, um, do not put this on your toolbar because it says, um, it works in your inventory. And it scans or within a range of about 20 or 30 while the drill is equipped. Oh, okay. So maybe I'm not close enough to it. Oh, here it is. I see it. There it goes. Okay. Maybe you have to just left click first. There it is. Sweet. We got it. Okay. Wow, this is super e useful. For finding the ore. I got some. All right. Um, destroy the attacking drone. Red dot on radar. Uh-oh. Shoot eye for max damage. It's coming. Well. Okay. Yeah, drone so you don't get stuck indeed. It's too far away. I want this thing to be closer to me. Here. Yeah, Kyrock, I should definitely use that drone more when mining. That makes sense. Just use the drone to mine. Oh, I lost some rep. Oh, it's down. Look at that. Take that. <laughs> That's sweet. All right. Access it. Flux coil, minigun round, optical fiber, nanotubes. Oh, it's too heavy. Okay. Um, well. Here, we don't need this stone. There we go. Running a drone path. That requires a lot of buildings. Production, defenses, fuel stores. But this island does not have these. Uh, they must be over the ocean on the northern isle. But still no good way to get here. That odd spider POI gave me an idea. Let's try something. Could you please check out the door at the locked bunker? I'll put a marker on it. Okay. Sure. I'll check out the door. Oh, you're right, Mage. I need to eat. All right, let's do it. I had a couple root beers. That didn't do very much. Lauren, how's it going? Thank you for subscribing. Um, I guess I'll eat my emergency rations. That hit the spot. All right. Go. Go, little bike. Whoa. Oh, my mercy. I'm out of control. Oh, boy. I bounced off that. That was pretty sweet. All right. I'm, I went too far. All right. Door at the locked bunker. I guess if this is what they mean, go to the workshop entrance. This thing. Meteorite incoming. Watch out. It may contain new resources. Okay. I'm watching out. I'm checking the skies. Not allowed, they say. I'm going in, no matter what you say. I got vegetables, people. Not allowed. So... We would really like to build a hover vessel. Could you please... Huh. Okay. Seems they should have just asked. Alright, we're in. Farpoint. 
Okay. We're kind of guests here. Please do things with hover vessels only. No small vessels or capitals. The constructors are on, but using the factory could be faster. Okay. Once you feel ready, open it with F2. Even if you want to build it all yourself, modifying others' blueprints is a huge time saver. What's this PDA? Here is helpful building info. Okay. F2. Blueprints and factory. Equals is skip all the buildings. Spawn in vessels and bases. Publish your designs to the Steam Workshop. Okay. Blueprints library overview. Left are the designs available. Right are the costs and conditions. Top left, horizontal symbols, row, blueprints. And the top right are blueprints and crafting. Okay. All right. So upper left, horizontal symbols, filter for hovers. Select a hover vessel from the list. Ideally, the um, Escalon... Nibiru. Okay. Um, all right. This one. Press choose for factory. This vessel is now waiting for resources. Let's see if we can find those. Okay. Um, so what resources does it need? I'll just close it. That's awesome macro i think i got something there's another of those buried containers nearby okay even better hidden seems to directly counter my sensors but this time i know what to look for the marker is up all right so we got to go get supplies for this hover bike outside and he's put up a marker for it uh here i can't really zoom in very well on this particular map um but I see the yellow dot, so let's go that way. Oh, it's very close. Find a resource cache. Dig open and bury. Uh, okay. Yeah, the rings are here, so I'm going to go to the drill. And I'm going to start just, like, mining around, I guess. Oh, you know what? Let me, uh... I don't know if the outline will appear for this. But let me... I could try my guy. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm doing a good job blowing away the environment. But I can't see the rings. The last time, it did just show me. Alright, let me try to use these rings again. I still don't understand them at all. They want me to flip the rings or whatever. Cannot pick up or inventory full. Yeah, I don't really want it anyway, but... Um, Outside, dig up the resource cache. There's the yellow dot. It's got to be down here. It's alright. Don't worry about your inventory. Just... There it is. I found it. Okay. Alright, we're going to take the core and just put it on... Uh, the guy. Hey, Fading, good evening. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put this over here for now. I can't fit it there either. All right. I need to install the core. So its mass is 140. Here. Uh, it has a set volume. 
All right. Um. Fine. Okay, I'm going to need to uh, drop a bunch of stuff or put it in here or something. I don't have enough space. So what I got to do is, like, this flux coil is massive. Um, I'll just drop it. Now, it looks like I can't drop it right here. I can't move it to the remote inventory unless I have the uh, core. Oh, here's a controller. Let me just put some stuff in here. This has got plenty of space. This is fine. I'll put my stuff here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to go here, and we'll take this out, and I'm just going to put this on this, handling large volumes. Okay, so now I did it. So I can go like this, and then we can just say, all right, we're going to go from the buried cache, um, and then we're going to go to uh, not the player. Oh, I thought this would connect. Maybe it's too far away from my base to, to send it to my base. Huh. All right, well... Interesting. Yeah, I thought I could, just like before, send stuff, but I needed this core. Okay, I don't know how to actually pick it up. Oh, no, no, it says be very close to the cache, activate logistics... Ping the wireless. Ah, it's not working, though. Why does it... Here, player. Ah, I don't know why this doesn't... Put the constructor item into the yellow connected toolbar. I mean, I, I would love to, but... Uh... Okay, here we go. Now open the blueprint library, F2. Tutorial warning. Please make a hover vessel. Um, okay. Okay. It's a hover vessel, right. Draw the items from the connected toolbar into the resource slot, then press start production. All right, so it needs, um, these constructors. All right, so now it has way more than it needs, I think. Upper left completed just got added. Select your completed hover vessel, then press spawn at the lower right of the screen. Okay, so... Um, select the complete... Oh, here it is. And then we're going to press spawn. And we'll put it right here. Created a new hover vessel. Okay. Press F to pilot it. Whoa! I wish I knew how this factory... There's, there's never a perfect vessel. You can pretty much modify it to your liking or build something better. All those boxes contain building materials. Get close to the markers for more ingots. Okay. Um, I don't know how to move this thing. Maybe it's got no fuel or something. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Needs fuel. Okay, makes sense. So, now... 
I have made this like bigger hover vessel? It sure did. But what's cool about this is obviously I can just start putting stuff into this inventory, I think. Like if I go here and I say um, Nibiru cargo box, like I put these in there. Uh, boy, the cargo box is really tiny or uh, on my my guy. It can barely hold any of these computers. I don't even know how many of these computers I need, but that's sweet. All right, so we filled it up. Um. Let me go to... Here's my... I love how the ship, the picture right here of your hover vessel is just the Star Wars like hover vessel that Luke Skywalker has. Ships have weight. You're darn right they do. fuel tank access yeah there, i have no fuel for this so i'll need to create fuel um, check out markers find a starting block use the end building menu um oh right rotate okay so they're, they're saying i could modify this thing which is awesome so i could put more stuff on it perhaps and I love this. I think that um, if I put too much stuff on it, it won't fly right. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, I could put these big weapon systems on there, but I don't know if we need that. I think that this game is fantastic. There's so much going on, and I have a ton yet to explore, but I feel pretty confident about, you know, what we've been able to learn so far, and I'm excited to learn even more about it however it is indeed my bedtime and i want to say everyone thank you so much for coming out to this stream and helping me learn how to play imperion and enjoy the game i hope you all have an excellent evening or day i'll be playing this again for sure so i can learn even more probably this coming week if you're interested in checking it out tomorrow um, we're going to get into some War Tales, and then Tuesday, if you like space, we're going to go back into Space Engineers, and then Thursday, we're going to try to get better at Don't Starve. Everyone, I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Siloom, Macro, Alex, Mage, Colt, Kyrock, Heathrun, Fading, Brandon, Jaw, Bad Wolf, Nick Man, Chef Smitty, Moses. Yeah, it was a great time. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.